Well, this time of year, you may find yourself taking something over the counter for a cold or a flu, or maybe you've gotten something for another problem that's going on. Well, you could be risking an adverse drug reaction if you're already on heart medication. Well, joining me now is Sherry Torco. She's a pharmacist and the co-author of Saving Women's Hearts. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So, so what is it about heart medication and these over-the-counter drugs that people need to be aware of? Well, I think a lot of people don't realize that the side effects with some of these medications, they can raise your blood pressure, increase your heart rate. They can interact with medications, and people often don't read the fine print that is on the packages. Yeah, because it's there. It's no, it there, is on there, right? It's there, but it's so hard to read. It's very small type, and I think there's an assumption that because you can buy these products over the counter without a prescription, that they're safer and therefore you don't have to worry about it, but you do have to worry and you should always check with your pharmacist when yeah, you're selecting products. And pharmacists are there for that very exactly. purpose, right? It's a good yes. idea. So what are some factors that increase the chances that you might have an adverse reaction if you go for an over-the-counter remedy? Okay, advanced stage. So people over age 60, 65 are at greater risk of having side effects or adverse drug reactions and also interactions. If you're taking multiple medications or if you have chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, diabetes, glaucoma, prostate disease, some of the ingredients in the over-the-counter drugs could interact with your health condition. I want to go through some of these because yes. there are some common drugs that people take for, for common problems. I want to start here with some decongestants. You know, a lot of people are probably taking these decongestants. We're going to go through what some of the medications are and then some alternatives that are less risky. Sure. So the, the issue with the decongestant drugs is that they do work to clear congestion, but side effects include racing heart, increased blood pressure, and that can really be problematic especially if somebody has heart disease. Even the decongestant nasal sprays, although they are absorbed less into your system, they still can cause problems. So instead of that, I would recommend to clear congestion of the sinuses using saline nasal spray or a neti pot with uh, essential oils. I also like these homeopathic remedies by um, Similison because they help to treat the underlying problem. No side effects, no drug interactions. And these products are free of dyes as well and chemicals, and they're safe, and they have formulas for both adults and children, so the Similison homeopathics are a good alternative. Exactly. Okay, another group, analgesics. Just about everybody takes analgesics, right? They do. Right? Yeah, in fact, 80% of people take analgesics, whether it's for headaches, for joint pain, aches and strains. The problem with uh, some of these drugs, they can interact with blood pressure medications. They are also very hard on the stomach. In fact, they're the leading cause of adverse drug effects with over-the-counter drugs. Right. So we're talking the non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So options, other options, fatty acids are anti-inflammatory so you can look for some fatty acids. I also like supplements that contain, it's an ingredient called NEM. It's actually derived from the membrane of eggshells and it provides pretty quick relief. So if you have osteoarthritis, sore aching joints, and you want something to help reduce the pain but also improve your flexibility and joint health, you can look for these supplements with the NEM. There's the Membrel and uh, Joint Care. Whoops. And then okay. uh, this one here as well with the NEM. So those are helpful. The point is there are alternatives even there for aches and There are alternatives. And actually these are clinically studied too. So these these aren't things that uh, we don't like know whether we're, exactly. Right. we exactly. We know that there's work. good evidence here. And some of the other supplements like glucosamine, chondroitin, they can help, but they sometimes take a month or longer mm -hmm. to work, whereas the supplements with the NEM, they do work in about seven to 10 days. That's the thing, because people want the result they right away. They want something quick. All right, so uh, sleep aids, another thing people yes. are always looking for. Yes, sleep aids, and the active ingredient in most sleep aids is actually an antihistamine, either ben uh, diphenhydramine or doxylamine, mm -hmm. and that can cause dry eyes, dry mo nose, dry mouth. They can also interact with some medications that you take for your heart. So be cautious with them. Plus, they really are just a short-term solution. Right. If you're having difficulty getting into a good sleep-wake cycle, melatonin can be helpful, especially for people that are a little bit older. As we get older, our melatonin levels decline in our body. So melatonin can be helpful. Also, if you're working shift work or traveling to different time zones. And I also like these supplements. They contain an amino acid called sunthenine, and it helps to make you feel more calm, more relaxed. It helps you to get a better night's sleep, better quality sleep, without waking up the next day feeling drowsy or groggy or having any issues with your memory. Right. So the supplements with the sun theanine can be helpful Which too. Which can happen with those. Thanks so much. Some great Thanks information. Because me. all this stuff, I know so many people that take this stuff. I'm sure it'll lighten them for sure. Thanks again for Thanks. coming in.